lavender stick, lavender stick. This is a lavender stick. Okay, so this is a, this is a lavender stick. Okay, so before you start burning the video, this is a lavender stick that is burning. Okay, lavender stick. It's a stick. It's a stick. Lavender stick. Okay, so before before the algorithm decide we are holding sticks. Okay, we are holding sticks. These are sticks. Algorithm. These are sticks. Okay, this is this is a stick. So before you start saying, oh, oh, you know, he's holding contraband. Before you start saying, uh, 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 you are promoting. This is a stick. Okay, are we clear? Hidi kijiti, algorithm. Now this is a lavender stick. So. Um, just in case the lavender stick is smoking and people are like, oh shit, he's on some shit. Lavender stick. Now, <laughs> uh, let's, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Just a second. Just a second, we are moving. We are moving. We go it just a little bit. We go it. Just a little bit. So now, the best way to hide something is in plain sight. Right there, eh? Sa, apo. Apo, eh? Eh, poni sawa. Chakwaza mwagili ya maju. You are at the car wash, so it don't matter. We are about to go deep now. So, <laughs> so I was having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> with my, my witch <laughs> last evening <laughs> and so I said which is the best way to hide something and we said the best way to hide something because she's intelligent okay you can't hang around me if you're not intelligent okay so she was like the best way to hide something is in plain sight I said yes so the next question was if you need to learn anything, if you need to go to school for anything, if you need to be taught anything, whether it's indoctrination, a religion, or whatever thing it is, you have to go to an institution, you have to go to a school, you have to go to one of their colleges, you have to go to one of their pyramid schemes, their schools, their Oxfords, you have to go to their these names or these schools that they name after themselves. Okay? Now, since we know that in this world, based on the five pillars that govern this world, which is business, entertainment, religion, politics, and sports, we know that this system has been built on going to school, going for learning. Anything you need to learn, you have to go to school. You have to be schooled. You have to be taught all the way down to their oral tradition, a.k.a. the Shakespeare's, making you pay attention to history. Okay? So, when we know that that is how this world works, then when you come back into the real world, you can see how deeply the people are. You can see how asleep the nations are, or you can see how easy it is to fool the people. You know yourself right now you know that stories are made up you have heard of mythologies and even right now we are creating stories that are fictitious but when people pay attention to them enough they can start acting out that character aka if you are watching selena long enough and you like the storyline as a collective when you practice that practice that can become in itself a golem or something people agree to and start carrying out those characteristics or behaviors. Now, let's come to back to the world. You talk of the pyramids. Everyone is busy. The Pan-Africanism with their weak knowledge. Africans with their, with their one nickel knowledge. Okay? So, you look at the pyramids, and the people are looking at the pyramids, and they are saying, oh, wait, these writings on the walls, 
these writings of the pyramids, this is a, a language. This is a language written here. This is the language of the gods. This is the language of the whatever thing, terms and condition you're assuming were in Egypt. Okay? So, by assuming it's a language, everyone is lost. Everyone is on the long, or what you can call the wrong starting point. Because when we look into the world, no one is getting the education from a wall. Otherwise, instead of going to school, we'd be having walls with language. So those are not lightings. The pyramids drawings, that's a clock. That represents a clock, a.k.a. when the sun rises, when the first rays of the sun from Aries, the first house, what you call Yahweh, when they land on the pyramid, based on the alignment, based on a lion, or I on the constellation, whatever clock or hour is what you'd be practicing. Let's say when the sun is hitting the pyramids, 6 a.m. in the morning, Aries, the first house, that sun rays would create a clock, a time, the same watch you wear, your, and on that thing, now everybody, because remember, that was downtown, in Egypt, the pyramids were downtown, so that is how everyone would go to know the times, so where unajua, each and every city that you live in, you have a city clock, each and every city has a city clock, that people go to look so that you know how to behave. Unangalia city clock, when you're in traffic lights, you're looking at the city clock. I have to be at work. I'm abiding to the clock, the clock of this world, this world view. The people who are in rulership now, who make you do everything by the clock. Their time, not your time. So the pyramids, when you go to the pyramids, when you look at the sun rays, Depending on the sign that they are falling on on the pyramids. For example, if it was a bird on the pyramid, that's the first house. Because a bird represents being high. That's the first house. That's Aries. That's Yahweh. And since the sun travels, they have, they have placed those pyramids in such a way that you can read the times of the day on the pyramids. Now, to make you protect that, thinking that it is your thing... Because I want to show you that the pyramids don't even belong to you black people. So, these people, based on what I said, mass manipulation. These are very clever people. These are true magicians of the world. These are the, the people who know how to play out all the, 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 the rituals and spells and, and casting all those things. And they are very good at it. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just that they're doing for wrong reasons, where they have to even come to the point of selling people's mentalities to keep themselves in power. Now, they start doing it the wrong way. So now, what happens is, um, because so they created, okay, I told you I was going to take you deep. So they created a narrative, a Shakespeare story. Remember, Shakespeare is not a real person. There's no one who was like, me, called Shakespeare, who wrote Shakespeare. No, they created a character, a timeline, an age, the way they tell you, the agrarian age, uh, they tell you about the agrarian age, they were not there. They tell you about the high renaissance, they were not there. It's all sort of tradition, what is passed down. They tell you about the whatever. So it's, it's called handed down knowledge or oral tradition of stories which can be updated or imagined. Keyword, even imagined, or how you used to be. The same now, you are always imagining how you used to be. It's an imagination. So you are creating that imagination based on whatever external influences you have been given. So they even take away your power of imagine for yourself because they do all the imaginations for you. For example, if I give you a toy dinosaur, Ama, if I show you a dinosaur, you are going to tell me, oh, that's a dinosaur. But you have never seen a dinosaur. The person who did that came up in his mind. He said, this is a representation of how a dinosaur looked like. One person, one person came up with that. It must have, he drew something, gave it a name, Strasrastonoras. He drew another one. He said, I looked at bones, which you have never seen. You, you have never seen those bones. In your countries, you never discover anything. It is always them. It is always them coming up with the stories, the dinosaurs. There was never dinosaurs. 
So now, when they break the noses of, this, of those things, and then they are creating the story, they tell you, these noses were broken because they were broad, yet they were made intentionally. Remember, you cannot remember creating those bronze. Africans, you cannot remember creating those things with the big noses, the same way, because they're in the same age as the pyramids. If you cannot remember how you build the pyramids, how can you remember how you build the nose? They are called psyops. Deep, deep psyop wars. The same ones that are happening now, whereby now countries are still ganging up for World War III, but it's not being fought in the seas. World War III is not being fought in war, but World War III is a proxy war, a.k.a. it's about taking over resources in Africa again. So you have China coming, buying again. You have your president shaking hands with these people again. Now they are coming back, getting land again. They are coming with their products, Monsanto, again. So it's the same energy updated all the time because all the times you are never prepared and you are always caught with your pants down, lost in your religion, education, business, entertainment, and sports. Well, you had yours. You had your own spirituality. You gave it up for a religion. An external validation. They even tell you, you are converting to Christianity. It's not even hidden. They tell you, convert. It's, the word is right there. A conversion. Where there's a word convert, it means the word covert has to come in. It means the word covert, a covert mission, a hidden mission. Okay? Spiritual warfare. So deep you can't even see it. Whereby you even participate to protect that thing that is oppressing you. Because you don't know. Because you don't know. So now, every city around the world has a city clock. I repeat, every city around the world has a city clock. And that city clock is placed on a specific alignment, on a specific latitude and longitude, on a specific light center. Because in the days when they were creating your cities, downtown is the first place to go. A.K.A. in Egypt, you had to go downtown to go and watch the puppet shows. To go and watch the pharaohs being entertained. To go and watch, and you have to ask yourself, these pharaohs, were they your kind? Because remember, they were still in rulership. The pharaohs were ruling, keyword, ruling over our people. Ruling. And when you are esoteric enough, the moment you hear the term ruling, you know that is a term and condition that comes with demonic energy. Because that's a demon that wants to be above others, that wants to control others, that has terms and agreements that it needs to be met first. Before you come here, you have to sign this paper. Before you do this, you have to do this, agreeing to this and this. So when you, are, when you have discernment or when you are spiritually woke, you can tell that that entity or that deity is demonic in nature and by default you're like, wait a minute. If the pharaohs were ruling over people, doesn't it seem like we are the people who are being ruled? Because, ask yourself this, if they were ruling them, then it still means their descendants are still ruling because when we look in today's life, presidents leave pres their sons in charge. Their sons come and give their sons in charge. So it's a practice that is continued around the world, whether through uh, presidents, whether through, through uh, kingships, whether through uh, chiefdoms in culture, whether through... So there's a t the terms and conditions are... Esoterically speaking, there's some entity or, or spirit or whatever that you want to call that to meet its, for you to access its energy or its kind of illusion, because it has to be an, illus an illusion for you to follow it blindly before you see it. It has to be an illusion because it's so well covered, you can't see it. So you are serving that thing, thinking that that is the best thing to do. So you are dying for a country, thinking that that is the best thing to do. Forgetting that for you to die for a country, you also have to kill. But the world should be based on us agreeing, coming together at all costs. So in the country, even the country that is claiming to be defending itself, you can do have your defenses up. But the fact remains that... 
the world we are in is already in that kind of energy where you have to defend yourself. So it's already by default, you know, it's a very demonic world. You always need to have your defenses up to the point even your country has a defense force, defensing from something. So it's external. It's not eternal. It's not from your source. It's not from within you. It's eternal. It's external. It's an external thing that is being on, put on you. So that way it has to be influenced on you through news or what you call um, any of these things that they can use their, from their six pillars or from their um, global magical ones. Your TV, um, your black mirrors, your computers and anything that has a screen. So it's external. That's why you always have to wanting a defense coming up with those terms and conditions. So now, when you understand that, then you'll see that the reason people used to go downtown was to receive the news, the information from the pharaohs. That is the best way they could reach people. Before the phones came, now they have you on their phones and the TVs. Before this time, they used to have a downtown. That is how they used to reach people. So the pyramids are, were the downtown of the people who are ruling you, who are still ruling you today. That is their downtown. That is their central Orion position. That is their shrine. It's not your shrine. That is the hidden shrine. And if you are to reset this word, go and watch that program of um, uh, Kong. Kong the monkey, the gorilla, the movie. Where he takes a stick and shatters the firmament to understand that you are under an illusion. So that firmament, the people behind that firmament, that you are shattering are the people behind the energy that is coming from the pyramids to create that beam, okay? So it's an energy point, but not for you. It's an energy point for the people who are creating this illusion that you are under. Go and watch Kong, the monkey, or the bull, or whatever, when he throws the stone and then he pierces the firmament. So the firmament is the bubble, is the mental bubble. Esoterically speaking, the firmament is the mental bubble of the mental form that you are trapped in. The people who go and trip and eat mushrooms to understand what you call the mother. I don't have to eat mushrooms to see these things. I can see them with my eyes wide open. I don't have to trip to see them. That's playground. So that firmament, that's a mental form. Meaning, that's like our atmosphere, Tiamat, Gaia, Earth, interacting with another Tiamat, another chakra, another atmosphere to create now the weather, how you are rotating. Because the world is a weather. When you, are, when you, want, to, when you want to think about Earth as a planet, before you get confused, it's a weather. Google weather, the word weather. You are going to see a cycle. It's a water cycle. So it's precipitation uh, in the sea. And remember, we are rotating. So this is a star. This is a body of water. This is a planet. This is how. This is why we we are rotating to the uh, to the west from the Antarctica. So as a body of water rotating as a star, okay, you have places where there's more density, aka as this um, weather is happening, rain. Precipitation, condensation, falls, freezes, we have dirt, earth, sand, back to the water, evaporates, goes round. So that's a weather system. The world is not even round and the world is not even flat. The world is a weather. It's a weather system. It's what you can call um, a water cycle. When someone comes to you, well, hey, you know, the world is round, just shut them out and tell them the world is a water cycle, a water cycle. The same way, and that is even why we have weathers. That is why we have some dry time, some winter time, some autumn time, some rainy time. Sometimes we are raining, a.k.a. a king is in charge, R-E-I-N-G. G -N. That is even how they time their raining, how to change a rulership to rule over you, they time a certain rain. Astrologically, astronomically, they even know about what you call geostorm, some rains. So when you are watching geostorm, you are watching them telling you that there are some rains. You can geomonitor the weather, not with how you think they are, they are, they are geothermating the weather, not that kind of 
technology. No, they fake it. They show you some some trucks spraying uh, smoke in the air. They tell you you are creating crowd. They would never show you that if that is what they were up to. However, around that time, they are doing rituals and spells to geomodify the weather, a.k.a. through their news, through their broadcaster, they are broadcasting, they are casting a broad spell, a broadcasting. So through their casting a broad, broadly, very far away, they do things like what is happening now, make you sad, make you pick some energy. When we are going into Scorpio season, everyone has to be in fear. When we are deeply connected to our emotions and feelings, what you call the Scorpio season, they have to create fear, war. They have to show you children dying. They have to show you countries invaded. They have to show you others getting ready. It has to be put on religious texts. It has to be put on divide and conquer. It has to put one side against the other. But they are doing that in Scorpio season. Welcome to the world. Nothing is a coincidence. We are in the eighth month of the year, Scorpio season. We are in our dick and pussy area. This is all about our desires, our deepest emotions. And when we are in our desires, we give birth. So what kind of birth are you giving? Because it doesn't have to, you don't have to go and fuck your wife. You don't have to go and get the dick. But it's the fact that what are the births that we are birthing when we are in the eighth house, in our lowest animalistic states, in our dick and pussy area, as a collective around the world, when we are seeing children dying, when we are seeing children being bombed every day, like it's nothing, like they are chicken. What terms and conditions are they putting us as a collective, as a mind? What is that emotional, Jewish that they are looking for, that they are going to feed on, so that now when they are launching the next attack, you won't feel it, you won't see it coming, because you already be so deeply into those desires, so deeply into the eighth house, the scorpion, the scorpion king. And this is the time where they, are, they, they release movies like the, the, the scorpion king. So now we're in the time of the scorpion king, again in 2023. So you may not see it, but if you are wide awake and you are looking to the world, Watch out for the Scorpion King. That is why you are witnessing war. Let me take you back to Kemet. Shout out to everyone in the comments. Shout out to the real esoteric lectures. Only one person has dared to share. The rest of you are just here for likes. I'm a silent follower. You can't even share real esoteric knowledge. But it's not about likes. You can keep your likes. We are here for God. True gods. And even that God is not the real God. Because God died. Now. Where are we? Um, let's go back to Kemet. So each and every city. Has a clock. Because that is your downtown. That is your downtown. That is where you would go to get the news. So when you go to your cities. Wherever you are. Wherever you are watching me from. When you go to your city, the first building you go to, you go to the city hall. That is the center of the heart. That is the heart chakra. That is the root chakra. That is the first root chakra that they plant in every city. Okay? The first root chakra. That is the city hall. Your desires. You have to pay for your fees. You have to... That is the first one they put there. So you go to the city hall. That is the root chakra. Then from the root chakra, when you go to the entrance of your city hall... From the root chakra, you travel east. From your root chakra, from the center of that city hall, travel eastwards. And the first building you are going to find will either be a Catholic church or you are going to find a Mason Lodge on the same line. And in Nairobi, you are even still going to find the, the, the Jew synagogue. So you know who is in charge of your city. So before you open your mouth, you know who's in rulership when it comes to ruling over you spiritually, not in the physical, who's above you, who's the, men the mentality that is the worldview that you are following, that illusion that they have created, that illusion that you are following, that you are lost in, because you cannot escape that bubble. Now, when you travel to the east, and I can dare you, go to City Hall in Nairobi, Go to City Hall. Travel East. Check it on your map. Don't even go there. Get on Google right now. Google, Google City Hall. Work a satellite. Zoom in Kidogo. 
ndio hizo zimepanga laini unaziona from the east zimepanga laini hivyo akina Hori family Basilica na na ukienda hapo Serena unaenda unapata the Masons Lodge hapo na hapo ndio unapata uh, synagogue ya Jews anyway class in session so this city clocks that's why we want to kwenye city clock ya Nairobi iko si nimekuambiza zingine so this city clocks oh anaenda kwa jeria about the car wash, so let me get my ass out of the car to continue with this and continue washing my my ride wash my ride away then it doesn't really matter sir i put my trust in you i put my trust in you in the end It doesn't really matter. I'm looking for a less noisy place to finish this. You know how we do. It's never scripted. You know, it's raw. It's raw downloads. Never scripted. As it comes. Thank God, the real esoteric knowledge. So the city clock now, when you follow the city clock, it's showing you where is downtown. So ukiwa hapo utajua the city clock iko side gun then you tajua what was downtown so the downtown is where they would have like the uh, uh, the doll show you know back in the days this would be like the times of like the kina shakespeare unakumbuka zile dolly house those kind of theater so dolly house went to become theaters they went to become your stadiums they went to become your arenas you get it from the days of just having dolls there so the pyramids now okay the pyramids are their watches that is why they talk about them are like their watchers that is why you even find them having uh, beside the pyramids you have what you are calling the gods the sphinx the lions facing a certain direction and the lion that would be the the the, the, the fifth house so that tells you that's all about uh, the fifth house and where the fifth house is falling or leo constellation based on our, on the orion so so to make you not understand what is, a, is 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 controlling you okay they make you pay attention to the pyramids with the name with the, with the awe of oh my god we were so great we built this no it's not yours the pyramids is their shrine that is their clock that is their clock but they know that the africans given a story they would die for based on your mentalities so by giving you the story you have always protected the pyramids you have always said that they belong to you no they don't belong to you remember it is them who dig up those mummies it's not your people it is them it is them who know what they are digging it's not you and it is them who tell you what they found out it's not you so the whole story is false It's called a psyop because you can do the same thing today when two years ago everyone was like this something was created out of thin air and it became a thing so right now to a scorpion king the moon is in the eighth house what are you paying attention to around the world children being killed like chicken for no reason children are innocent why are you bombing children why what kind of a system allows that and don't tell me about the un because if i look at the un it's meaningless it cannot handle a nation so all this is a psyop all this is done for a reason so this is a world view this has got nothing to do with god for people to be in those circumstances and to come up with a morality on why that is okay to do that's really deep that's really 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 deep to come up with a morality to justify killing children do you know how deep you have to be in witchcraft to convince people to look at that like it's normal yeah, it's normal to bomb children and kill them it's normal I mean ah you know there are people they went there it's no more uh, it's children 
Asure, what do you want? Come on, where? Dara, come here. There's a college where? Even that one. It's no more. It's no more. But they make you look at that like it's no more when the moon is in Scorpion King, when the moon is in the eighth house. Nata to Jayenda and Yotkoskuyatano. And they were planting that thing with a new moon in Libra. That new moon came in Libra. And you are Libra in the seventh house. And you are just coming from the seventh house. We are coming out of Libra. We went into a new moon in Libra just before we go to, to, uh, uh, to begin a new moon in, in Scorpio. You need double seven up on Yuma. Scorpion King. Again. See movies, Sasa? Dio yo in a happen. But in movies, they give you the Scorpion King. You miss the allegories. So when you're watching the Scorpion King, is what you know, Sai. You don't even know, Sai. Uko. Uko. Uko kwa kina uh, Mavado. Mavado Gali side. Hey, shout out to Mavado Gali side. Hey, and then shout out to Vibes Kaza, Gaza, Gaza, Vibes Cartel is a musician, Vibes Cartel, Gaza, Vibes Cartel, Gaza, Vibes Cartel, Gaza, understand where to know an accord. Shout out to Vibes Cartel, Gaza. Eh? Hey, shout out to Mavado, Gali side, Mavado, Gali side, Mavado is very angry, Mavado is very angry, Scorpion King, Mavado, Scorpion King, Mavado is very angry, Scorpion King. Hey, shout out to Gaza, Gali side, Gali side music. We are talking of Mavado and Vibes Katet. Where you a chord? Scorpion King. It's not a movie. Do you happen so easy? Bidi bidi ko wo. Hey, Scorpion King is a video game. Is the algorithm? Excuse me, that we see on gear, man. Can't even see anything. Yeah, the algorithm in a kusensa. We don't give you a strike notice. Eh? We do, normal people don't talk like that. I'm like, I'm not even normal, bitches. I'm an archangel. <laughs> <laughs> the applications that it are angels who are kiongea kwa mitambo. We see too much. Sasa, we see too much. I can see your comment, but it's not clear. Let me wonder, do you want to light in your comment? Soul Gip, Likuala, Sandy, James, do you want to see? Uh-huh. Nani, I'm going to ask you a question. No question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. And you're going to ask me a question. Dio ratiri ya guke saidi ya Scorpio. Aha, 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 aha. Nice. Naona mtu anajita mini mie nasema sasa jenga. <laughs> mini, 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 mo. <laughs> Now, <laughs> eh, what can I do? Base ni mesali mika. You're welcome. So the pyramids are their watchers. The pyramids is their shrine. So based on the sun and how it would hit the pyramid, that is how they decode. That is not a language. That is a clock. Because for a language, you have to go to school. For any language, a wapi from the times of Jesus, whatever you want to come up, Papa Madrasa, you have to go for Madrasa. You have to go for the temple. You have to go to the teaching. You have for, to, for you to learn any education or language you have to be taught you have to go somewhere so for you to learn your language you go to school so you thinking that the pyramids at your language you see your language that is a clock you it's a clock all those things that is a clock they are clock they are o'clock So when you are under their o'clock, you are under that clock, their world view. Now, Sasa, they hide it in plain sight and make you think that it has got anything to do with Africans. And they give you a story to run with. Oh, you are powerful. Oh, no, no, no. You have always been slaves. Wake up now. There was no time you were powerful. Otherwise, you'd still be in power. Because when we look today, Mutoto wa chief, badwa konanguvu. When we look today, a son of a president is still powerful. It doesn't matter. Mtoto wao na mtoto wao na mtoto wao. Those are families. And when you look into the world, that number lives to be very limited. So we are the slaves, and those are the children of the people who are still ruling you. And when I look at them, they look like me and you. They don't look like they were any different. And when I look at the whole world, we are all under a slave thing. 
It doesn't matter whichever location you are. It doesn't matter your skin color. We are under something. We are under a dome, an atmosphere. And King Kong showed you when he threw the tree and shattered the firmament. But that firmament is a mental firmament. It's a mental enslavement. It's the wrong starting point on what is happening in the world. You are following something that was given to you. And the gods just confirm. It has got everything to do with latitudes and measurements and squares and alignments and what you call trines in astrology and angles and opposing. What more do you need? Mic drop. Namaliza yu esoteric lecture na mna hiyo. Hakuna kitu ngini ya kuongeza. Ama mtasema tulikuwa tumeeka protract hapa tukuja hapo. Tukuwa tumeeka eh. Tukuwa tumeeka panga eh. Venye wana kapanga anga. Kana panga angu wa hivo. Lakimi sikuwa nimeka panga. But wenye wana juo kupanga wana juo kukapanga. Ok. They know how to influence minds. That is why you have influencers. People who can impact you to think a certain ways. For you, you call them rock artists. Some of you, you call them uh, um, uh, um, um, fathers, forefathers. Some of you, you call them uh, legends. Some of you, you call them um, um, uh, emperors. Some of you, you call them presidents. Some of you, you call them uh, because they presided over something. A president just presides. Remember that. A president presides. So your president is not yours. He's presiding over something. So there's someone above him. A president presides over a country. And when you are presiding, you are coming the second. You are the second coming. There's something that is pre. Okay? You are presiding pre. It's not you. You are just presiding something. Something is coming. Something bigger, something you don't know, something you, you just agree to the terms and conditions based on safety, security, stability, and shelter. <laughs> Which may look like people, places, and things, situations, circumstances, and illusions. <laughs> Welcome to the new world, baby. Just getting you a little bit wet, a little bit esoterically wet, you know. Just to get the guys a little bit hard for some esoteric knowledge and all my ladies to get them a little esoteric wet for some real knowledge, you know. So, anyway, um, do have a beautiful Wednesday. <laughs> Someone says alignment. Yeah, it's all about alignment. <laughs> it's all about alignment and angles. So, <laughs> um, so the pyramids <laughs> is the watchers. <laughs> And they are not yours. <laughs> that is why you cannot access that 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 energy. It's not yours. <laughs> when you are doing your access to Kona Uku, Akina Melek, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a whole different bloodline, okay. Wako, eh? Tuko, tuko, tuko. So now, um. Yeah, shout out, shout out to everyone who came through. Teamwork make the dream work, I think. That is enough for now. We don't want to go too deep, you know. For some of you, this is unheard of. You have never heard this before. Maybe some of you, your brains are now hurting. Now you're even hating me. Some of you are hating, hating, hating. Some of you are like, oh my God, I thought I, thought I knew shit. Don't hate yourself. We are just getting reminded. I'm reminded, I remind you. You remind another. <laughs> Don't hit the messenger, just take the message. <laughs> Don't hit the messenger, just take your goddamn message. <laughs> One of my commandments, you cannot hit on me, just take your message. Okay? Don't hit the messenger. I may not come look the way you think, I may not be packaged the way you want. Maybe you are promised I would come riding a horse with flaming wheels. And wings, I do have wings, you can't see them. I'm growing them, they are young. 
they never said how how big the wings were so my wings are young i'm, young, I'm growing them <laughs> Telling them you are growing wings, Jagamudaka. They may want to come and fly with you. Don't come flying with me. <laughs> I'm growing my wings. Grow your own esoteric wings. It's a beautiful thing to have your own esoteric wings. <laughs> so that you can go to uh, places in the esoteric world where uh, today is Wednesday, so green is a good color, yeah? Yeah. So you can go to some faraway lands. And the more expanded you are, the more well-traveled you are also. And this is why it's even important to have people move from your locations. Like This is even why it's important to just book yourself a road trip and get away from home. Because just by interacting with different people, you have a different worldview. Of, and that gives you, without you knowing, this is why children who are well-traveled are preferable given... That is why people compete even for passports, because the more traveled you are, even physically, the more places you have been to in the, in the 3D also means that you are doing a lot of traveling in the astral world. So if you can practice that here in the 3D now as a ritual and spell, that is why your leaders are always traveling. You think it's about you? No. <laughs> <laughs> for a point there you thought it was about you oh it was about you also now for the first time the, your president is getting on a plane on behalf of his citizens so, for, so you think he gets on because of a state eh? <laughs> what a good thought <laughs> of course you think so because they give it limelight, they put it in the news. The president lives for two days, so you think it's important and he's living for your reason. Everyone you see, even the people you know at work, you only know 2% of their world. And that 2% is the few hours you spend with them at a place of work. And even when you spend time at the place of work, you don't spend time to talking to them all the time. And even when you don't spend talk, talk, time talking to them all the time, you have never, never even maybe ever experienced any of your workmates in their original self, in their most uh, uh, vulnerable space. They have always interacted with you like a co-worker. That's it. So you never actually know the kind of handshakes that these people get to. They shake so many hands. What is on Kwa TV at Yanashek, Zerensky president? No, no, no. There are other things you don't know. The same way, Nikitoka Kwai live, you don't know what I do the rest of the hours. Even you, if you see you somewhere, we don't know what you are doing with the rest of the hours because I'm not on you all the time. Peak game. Shit is deep. Sasa. Yeah. I feel that it's been aligned moving soon and I can't wait. Yes, keep moving. I want to do it to get how do you how do you feel obsessed? Oh, I'm wearing pyramids, I didn't even know. How can I find out my bloodline? Alignment from Yeah so I think I think that's enough again, you know. We keep saying it's enough. It's never enough. I will like uh, I was just getting started. This is just foreplay. But sometimes even foreplay is enough. So we can end it there. No need to get you to wait for some esoteric juices, you know. There's always more where that came from. Uh, shout out to everyone in the comments. Uh, each one, teach one. That's a manga. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Um, so understand. Or, and you don't even have to take my story. Now go and do your own research and also understand that the more open-minded you are to possibilities out there, God is all possibilities. That can be a possibility. So the more open-minded you are, the more possibilities, the more possible ways can go for you. That is the more possible 
positive things can come towards you. And the more possible or possibilities mind you are creating, where even when you leave this world, you can go into that all possibilities. And that all possibilities can look like your possibility, you are it through heaven, down here, you creating it, that becoming your heaven. So whatever you love doing here, you create all possibilities of that becoming your heaven. So when you leave this world, you go into a mind where everything you wanted to be a heaven is what happened for you. So you can be also be a leader, like your president, presiding over some people. But you don't do it demonic because you can see it and you do not agree to those terms and conditions. You agree on the basis of all possibilities. And all possibilities is all possibilities of us working together as a possibility, experiencing all this together. So you have transmuted that energy, you put yourself in that mind, and that's how you even create what you call uh, <coughs> good seeds in your primordial waters. And you may actually even end up manifesting that as a child that grows up to be all possibilities for the good of the country. And that is how even kings are born, not made. But your world, they are making kings. They are making their sons kings. Akina Recho, Akina Shebesh, Akina Uhuru. They make their children kings. So we don't longer have kings born. Because every time it's about to rain, R-E-I-G-N, rain, they give you a distraction, Mavado and Vibes Cartel, where they are falling down, cutting down, Towana, ile upake damu juu ya mulango yako, upake damu juu ya mulango watoto wako wasikufe. Okay? Bilibili kwa time, updated today, today, Scorpion King. Na nithayo.